I use. Hey guys, good morning. Today is Wednesday the 23rd? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm getting ready, obviously. I'm using the camera as a mirror. But, uh, I'm trying to brush my hair out real fast. I thought I'd better wear a different color shirt today. <laughs> the last two days I've been wearing a red shirt, but there were two separate red shirts. But I thought it was funny when I was watching the videos. I was like, it looks like I never changed. But I was wearing a Dr. Pepper shirt, which I love Dr. Pepper. And a Tennessee shirt with the... It's like the Tennessee flag, you know, the little tri-star thing <laughs> uh, on it. And I was like, I better go ahead and change just in case people think I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> but, um, I love Tennessee. I love living here. Me and Devin feel that way about everywhere we go, though. We visit anywhere. We, uh, we're like, ooh, I love this. We could totally live here. And then we go somewhere else. And we're like, oh, this is awesome. We could totally live here. But there is one place that we both would love to, um, move to in the future and that's like around Sevierville and Gallenberg and all that we'd love to live over there but uh, I doubt we ever will because that's a three hour drive from our family and you know my mom's not in the greatest health and I don't want to be that far away that uh, if something does happen we have to hop in the car and fly three hours to get here I've got to go check the post office and go grab some groceries at Walmart and then I gotta wake Devin up. He was supposed to sleep in today because he works over tonight, but we're gonna go visit his dad at the hospital. And uh, his dad's still in the hospital, so if you have any good thoughts or prayers or anything like that to send his way, please do. Uh, he had back surgery, and he's having a little bit of complications from it. Uh, nothing horrible, but you know, it's obviously not great. You don't want complications after surgery. Um, so they're trying to get all that situated. And then I gotta come home and so so so. Okay, I think my hair's brushed out good. <laughs> but um, I just got dressed and I got to run around and get my jacket, my keys, and my wallet. And then I will head to the car and hope it's not freezing outside this morning. <laughs> hey guys, it's a little later in the day. It is a little after one. It's about ten after one. Devin just left for work. Uh, I just got in eating something uh, for breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> I didn't eat anything this morning. But I got up, I went to the post office and got some groceries, and then I was going to come home and film a little and then start sewing. But um, we ended up going to pick up Devin's sister and going to the hospital to see his dad. And he's doing pretty good. Um, they're still watching him, and then they may end up having to go in and do some wound cleaning stuff or something like that. I'm not sure what the terms are. And uh, hopefully he'll get to come home Friday. Um, if not, we're probably going to go see him again Friday. We can't go tomorrow because Devin's got to work a 12 night a 12 hour shift today so he needs to sleep in tomorrow but um we'll go back and visit again Friday <laughs> but I got some happy mail and I wanted to share it with you guys I was expecting one thing today um and I got that <laughs> but she added extra in her package and then I got another package too so I'm going to share them with you guys okay so the first package this is one that I was expecting part of it <laughs> is from Kara um Texas yeah I, want, I like saying uh, about where people are from because it's just fun to know I guess <laughs> but she said that she had um, half a yard of a Snoop or peanuts material Christmas themed and half a yard of a Grinch one so she sent it to me which is super um, thoughtful and I appreciate it this Grinch one is so cute I love it so it's enough to make a project bag and a notion pouch so a pouch so a set and um, depending on how good I can get all these bags done, if I have time next week before the update, I will go ahead and whip these ones out real fast too. If not, they'll be a little late. But they just got all kinds of Grinchy sayings on it. And it's got the original Grinch on it. Super cute. <laughs> I just love the Grinch. I love this story. I've always loved the storyline. And uh, me and Jesse and Devin, usually, usually it's me and Jesse because Devin's always doing his own thing. <clears throat> we watch the old original cartoon we get on DVD every Christmas Eve and then we always watch the Jim Carrey movie and then now the new one we went and when did that come out last November I think we went and seen it in theater me and Jesse my mom my sister and her son <clears throat> and then the other one I got distracted is uh let's see here it's got Charlie Snoopy and the little sister I can't remember her name but on there with like presents and uh Oh no, it's it's like hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got marshmallows like piled up. That's like me. That is so cute. But just the peanut. Some of the peanuts characters. I can't remember the little sister's name. 
Ooh, I forgot. But she also sent a couple things for Jesse. And this one he's going to love. She sent him stickers. <laughs> he loves stickers. I think every little kid does though. But there's just all kinds of cute little monster stickers in there. And I let him stick them everywhere because like our walls, they're really easy to peel off. And um, I'm not like big concerned if they're on his toys or on our furniture because I'll either peel them off or just leave them there. I don't even care. Um, but he loves them and sometimes I just give him some printer paper and he'll just stick it all over it and um, they won't hang it up for a while or something. But he loves stickers so this is good. This is a good thing to have for distracting him when he needs to be distracted. <laughs> and then she also sent him this little dinosaur. It lights up. And he actually got one of these recently from in a package. But what is hilarious is the other day, it's got that ball in it that glows. He had it pushed up into its head, <laughs> so it was big and swollen, and it ripped. The head ripped because of the pressure on it, so I had to get rid of it. So now he's got a brand new one, <laughs> and maybe he won't even notice the difference. He probably will because the other one was really plain with and dirty. But now he has another one, so that's cool. And then she also sent me these cute little uh, handmade metal tags. Uh, like to put on stuff that I make. <laughs> These are metal though, so I have to pick wisely what I put it on there because I want it to go to someone who will appreciate the tag. Also, not just the item. And then she sent me some hooks, which I think is really nice. The light up. Oh Lord, it's in a different name or different language. <laughs> Luxus fur dye handle. <laughs> is that? I don't know, but it says, it says right there, indulge your hands. It doesn't have a name brand on there. This was in there. I just took it out. And there are um, ergonomic ones. Let me get one out. They're E through, E through, which one? What's the last one? J, I think, right? Yeah, E through J. So here's the J hook. <clears throat> so it's got the uh, size there. So, yeah, that's actually really comfortable right there. And she said it's okay if, if I don't like them, I can... Okay, I had to hop off real fast to reread the letter and make sure I was saying the right thing. But she did say that it's okay if I um, kept these or if I decided to do a giveaway or if I wanted to give them in a swap or whatever. So I will try them out and see what I think personally of them. And because I've never had any that's that shape. <laughs> so we will try them out. Let me put the label back in there. But this will also be an awesome uh, giveaway, too, because I may have a really big giveaway coming up soon. Let me set up. I feel like I'm sinking. But she wrote a really nice letter. Um, and she was talking in about her grandkids and stuff, which is cool. And she's about to go on a thousand-mile drive to visit her uh, other family. So that's cool. That'll be so fun. I love taking road trips. So I hope that she's safe on that journey <laughs> and has all kinds of fun and gets to have fun with her family. Yeah, let me, I gotta put that up because I like to try to keep a record of what, of everybody who sent me stuff so that I can always remember, you know, oh, so-and-so sent me this. But yeah, so that was that package. The next one I gotta grab. This one I wasn't expecting at all. Like, I knew something was coming to the P.O. box because I have notifications, but I had no idea who it was from or even if it was Happy Meal or if it was, you know, something me and Devin ordered. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but she wrote a note too. It's from Nikki, by the way. Where is she from again? Ohio? Yes, Ohio. <laughs> I always like to remember where people are from. I think I already said that, but I said it again. But, uh, she's, she just sent me some stuff and, um, I'm excited about it. Because, <laughs> uh, some of it's something, some things I've actually been wanting for a while and one of it is a brand new to me yarn that I never got to use before so I can't wait to actually open this up and use it and the color is beautiful. So I will show you the yarn first but it's ice yarn. I've never had any ice yarn. Wait, did I maybe? I feel like I got some out of a swap. I think I may have a ball in there but I've never used it yet. But this is a lot of it. <laughs> she wrote on there that it's 393 yards each so that's a lot of yards. And this is a DK weight. And I don't think they ever say the colors. I've heard people do unboxings. So I'll have to go to the website and try to find the actual color. Unless she wrote it down. She may have wrote it down and I done forgot. Let me get one out. If I can figure out how the bag opens. Sprinkles. Oh, 
so pretty. Yes, yeah, I know she wrote the, the brand down. Really pretty colors. My mom is going to want this yarn, and I'm going to tell her, nope, it's mine. Let me find on her note what she says, um, the type of yarn it is. I know she said it. Okay, it's acrylic, DK, sparkle, washable, is what she said. 375 yards. It's 393 meters or something like that. So it's a DK weight, acrylic, sparkle, obviously. <laughs> super pretty and I will probably make a big giant shawl out of this because I mentioned it in one of my other videos that I want to make a big giant shawl for myself for like when we go to the parades which are coming up pretty soon um I see here November 11th is Veterans Day and our town usually has a Veterans Day parade around November 11th not always on the day but around it and then we'll have uh, one Christmas parade in our town and then the town next to us has a big one and when I can I try to go to the big one because you know, bigger parades are fun. <laughs> but there's also tree lighting ceremonies we'll be going to. And um, the thing in the town next to us, they have a big tree that's lit up that flashes with the music. <laughs> I'm not good at, like, ex explaining that. We went to it last year, and it was awesome. It was way better than we thought it was going to be. So I definitely want to put that on the list to do this year. So I need a big, snuggly um, shawl <laughs> to take with me. And uh, this one's sparkly, so... Of course. <laughs> so that'll either be a shawl for myself for all the stuff I just said or just a shawl for around the house. Because I want to make a Christmas shawl, but I'm not good at making shawls. <laughs> I mean, I know, you know, anyone can crochet anything and they just got to work on it. But um, I want, like, Lisa from Happy to Hook, she always makes these big, giant, like, shawls. And I want one of those, but I always feel like it takes me forever to make stuff like that. But this will definitely be a shawl. And I want to make a Christmas one, too. I'm going to put this back in here so I'm going to turn it off so I don't crinkle it so bad. Okay, the worst of the plastic crinkle is over. Okay, the next thing she sent me is super cool. I don't know where she got them from. But they're labels. It came with a little roll of twine to tie them onto your stuff with. And then it's a whole bunch of the labels. And it's like for my next craft fair. And it says on the front, handmade with love and then on the back is where you could write you know the price and the care instructions and stuff like that that is so cool i'm not sure how many's here i'm guessing 100 because it's a good round number <laughs> 50 or 100 maybe of those so that's so cool i can use those for my next craft fair which i plan on doing more just not this year because i got already so much stuff going on but it came in this cute little bag and i love bags like this because it's reusable um i can even if I use all these tags, I can still keep this little bag and use it for other things. You guys know what reusable means. <laughs> and then she sent me some hooks. And these are really cool hooks, actually. These are Susan Bates. And these are the ones I was looking at and I talked about again recently. That I wanted to buy one and try it out. And she sent me two of each of them. I had to, I'll have to edit that out because I just dropped... <laughs> the phone just fell and y'all just went flying through the floor. Okay, I separated them real fast so I wasn't like fiddling with them but she's it's like it's two sets so i got two e's two f's two four point g's and two of the other g's what are they four point five the seven they're called sevens actually i don't have any four point fives all my g hooks <laughs> are the four fours so now i have two more g's two more of the other g's two h's two i's two j's and two k's but i'll show you a k just because they're big but it's a Susan, Bake hook, Susan Bates hook with like a, um, a grip on it. And it's not like a huge ergonomic grip, but it's like a, <laughs> it's like a padded grip that, um, you know, it's more comfortable than just holding the metal. So I'm super excited to try these out because uh, these are the exact same ones I was thinking about buying one of to uh, see if I liked it and see if it helped with my hand issue. And then I was going to try one of the wooden ones that's got like a wooden handle on it. Because I have one. Oh, maybe I don't have that anymore. I had one, but I think maybe I gave it to the girl babysit. I can't remember. I have to look at my stash. But now i got all these hooks to try out. And um, she also said in her letter that it's okay if I don't want to keep them, I can give them away. So um, I'll give all these hooks a good try and see what I think. And then I can also give my opinions on them. But uh, Susan Bates are my... Susan Bates. I keep saying that really fast and it messes up. Are my favorite hooks to use. And uh, so I'm excited to try these out. And those came in a really cute little bag. I'm not sure where it came from. It looks homemade. It says lifestyle. What sunshine is to flowers, smiles are to humanity. 
And it's just a cute little bag, and I may try to copy this uh, pattern because <laughs> it's really cute and perfect for hooks. But this would be a cute little thing to add to the shop. <laughs> I can get the hooks in there. Okay. Zip it up. See? It's kind of like a pencil case size. It's got a boxed bottom. Super cute. And the labels right there. And I got labels, but mine would probably be on the side because I like the folded labels. But this is super cute, and it, it looks like it's handmade, but I don't, I don't know where unless the company is, you know, the store is lifestyle. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Oh yeah, and I forgot, the hooks also had this little case of um, weaving in needles. Kind of hard to see, but it's just like a little tube of different size weaving in needles. And then she sent me some books. <laughs> it is so funny. Um, sometimes it's like people just know... That you want something and I don't know if that's just because people feel close to you or something you know uh, from you know knowing you so they kind of have an idea what you like but she sent me some books and pretty much all four of them are books that I've been wanting and two of them are on my Amazon wish list <laughs> so I can go delete them now uh, I keep an Amazon wish list for Devin mostly so he can go on there and see what I want and order what I want instead of getting me something I'm not gonna use but, um, so I'll show you the books. This one is on my Amazon wish list, and it's called The Crochet Stitch Bible. And it's a big old book of different stitches. Tons and tons of them. I don't even know. Did it say how many? It says over 200. So, there's no telling. There's a lot of numbers over 200. But it's got just all kinds of stitches in it. And it looks like it's got, towards the back it's got, um, like there's a flower and then uh, different shapes not just square you know making like a row of stitches but like you know like that one it's a flower thing and then there's like a spiral shell it's just really cool I've been wanting that book and then this other one is on my Amazon wish list and I can remove it now but it's called Amigurumi Monsters I've been wanting this book for forever <laughs> I just haven't gotten it and uh, I flipped through it a little bit when I first opened the mail and I already found one that I'm for sure gonna make I probably gonna make a lot of these monsters but I think the first one that I want to make, if I can find it, wait, it was on number 36. Let's see here. 36. And it's called the Cotton Candy Monster. I'm trying to cover the pattern up. It's fuzzy. <laughs> it's so cute. I couldn't make a pink one, so I don't have a lot of pink. Let's see here. Amber sent me some red, I think, fun fur. But I have some orange fun, fun fur and brown. And then I have the white. I think it's called Cloud Nine or something like that. It's kind of like fun fur, but shorter. Um, so I can make some little monsters. And there's so many cute little monsters in here. One of my friends on YouTube, Kim, and she also has a YouTube channel. And she's actually local to me. She lives in the next county over in, in town. I don't want to say her town name. <laughs> But uh, she makes these little monsters all the time. She does craft shows. And look at them all. Look at that one. I've seen people make that one. Look at this one. <laughs> and I've seen this one recently. Oh, they're so cute. That one's eyes are like, like that one's like in its hand. It reminds me of, um, ah, real monsters <laughs> on Nickelodeon. That one monster holds his eyeballs up. I'm excited about that book. I've been wanting that one for a while. And then she sent me two of the little... One's a leisure art and one is um, Vanish Choice. And this is on my wish list in Amazon. <gasps> I did it again. I'm not going over again. I don't have you on the tripod. Stay. This one. <laughs> it's little critters and it's got... I think there's one down there. It's covered up by the sticker. But it's got just a bunch of little animals. Which everybody knows I love making immigrant. Look at this bird. What is that? Is that a penguin? Like a baby penguin? And a little monkey, and monkeys is something, and giraffes, that at my craft fair people were asking for, monkeys and giraffes, and um, cows. What is this? Did it say right here? Oh, a snowy owl. I thought it was a penguin. There is a penguin, though, on the next page. I love penguins. And then this one, uh, Terry from Your Enjoy Podcast, she recently made one of these, and she's, she has the same book. She said she bought it at uh, the store or something. Trying to find the one she made. Right here. It's a stackables. They're called baby stacks. 
She made this one with the octopus and the, the starfish, but she used different colors. But this is what this is. It's a book of baby stack things, which is super cute and would be really good baby shower gift. And, you know, if you stitch on the eyes, you don't have to worry about um, safety buzz. But my favorite one in here, I looked through it already, <laughs> is this one. It's a beehive. Or is it stacked up? That is so cute. I love bees. Ah, I got so many things I want to start now. <laughs> I'm trying, I still haven't even started on my whips because I've been um, sewing. I haven't actually gotten to sew much of this today. It's because of the whole sewing machine incident. And then uh, today with, um, well, Monday was stuff about my in-law, my father-in-law. And then yesterday was the sewing machine stuff. And then today we were gone all morning uh, visiting at the hospital and all that. So uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to clean up all this stuff and um, set over and start sewing. I already brought my new sewing machine in here. It's over there. And I got everything laid out over there <laughs> for uh, working on a bag. So I got to try to get all the notion pouches done today because I'm like two days behind on my sewing and that's the whole reason I gave myself over a week is because I was afraid something would happen and then something happened <laughs> so I have I mean it's not set in stone that I have to update the shop on November 1st but that's what I've been saying so I want to try to stick to that obviously if um, I can't I won't but I will let everybody know I'm pretty sure though as long as nothing crazy happens <laughs> I should get all these bags done and probably these two other bags that were the material was gifted to me because um, I already got a lot of the zippers put in, and that's um, the notion pouches are really quick. They're just kind of a hassle because of the zipper. But um, so I just got to finish putting the zippers in, do the rest of the top stitching, and then sew them closed, and they're done. I can finish those today, and I probably will. And then if I finish those today, I'll start working on the drawstring casings because I like to make those ribbons. <laughs> uh, I, I sew them all together and then cut them apart while watching TV or something. And then I just have to start my. Um, assembly line for the bags and what I always do is I, I do the drawstrings first the casings and then I sew the liners together and then I sew the drawstring casings to the outers and then I sew the outers together and then I sew the outers to the liners flip it and um, run the drawstring through it and it's all done it's it's a really fast process it's just I'm having I'm having to do it this time 52 times and then 54 times if I do these two which I'm going to try to do and um Actually, I might do two more bags because I got Christmas prints that I can use for liners for these. And then I'll have some Christmas prints left I might just put together to make bags with. I don't know. I'll do that next week if I get a lot done on these bags. But I have 52 project bags to make. And I have 50 Notion pouches to make. I think. <laughs> because two of them don't have... Uh, I didn't have enough material to make matching Notion bags. So, uh, I think it's doable. <laughs> and... Um, Jesse lets me sew. He's not here right now. He's still at my mom's. And I'll probably go pick him up in the morning. Unless he wants to say. Because sometimes he throws a fit. <laughs> but, um. I already went grocery shopping and all that. So I don't really have anything to do outside the house. So I'm going to work, work, work. <laughs> I'm going to. I'll probably work Saturday too. Because Devin's got to work at his job. So if he's off Sunday. I'll for sure won't work at all Sunday. Because I'll spend time with him and Devin. Or Jesse. <laughs> and, uh. If he does have to work Sunday, he said he might have to work Sunday. I might do some sewing on and off, but not a lot. I'll still relax a lot that day and uh, play with Jesse and stuff all day. And there's a fall festival on Sunday at a local church that we went to last year. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, if he's off, we're going to go to that Sunday. And Saturday, if even when he works, I'm going to keep the car. Because the Halloween puppet show is that morning. And I take the kids to that every year. The last two years. <laughs> and, um... That night, there is trunk or treating. Well, I don't know what it's called when it's boats. <laughs> it's like trunk or treating, but it's on the huge marina here. And it's a huge marina. And a lot of celebrities, country music stars, have their boats there. And these are huge boats. Some of these boats are bigger than our apartment. Like, and the neighbor's apartment. There was one last year. I don't know whose it was. But it was a three-story tall houseboat. It was huge. <laughs> and if I can, if it's not dark enough, I mean, if it's not too dark, I will try to take some video clips and show you guys these big old boats. But it's it's called Hurricane Marina. It's in the county my sister lives in. And we went there last year, but we got there late. So we didn't get to go to all the big boats. But there was still a lot that they just left our candy bowls out. So we could have took like all the candy, but we didn't. We were good. We just took a few pieces, each kid. But um, we're going to go back to that. Devin won't be able to go because he's at work. But I'm going to go 
with Jesse and Kat, the girl babysit, and then my sister, her husband, and their son are going to go. And maybe my mom, if she wants to ride along with us, um, are going to go and take them at the right time. And it starts at 6, I think, so we'll get there at 5-something and get all of the boats. Because last year, we we got there, it was like 7-something, and most of them had already stopped. And uh, all the, a lot of their lights were off, so we just went to the ones that still had lights on them. And, but there was still candy. It was funny because all the candy was in beer boxes because it's, um, it's a marina where like people party. <laughs> um, not like reckless party, like teenagers, but it's like, you know, families, they do cookouts and do stuff like that. But all the candy was in beer boxes, like at the end of their boats. So we just went through there just getting candy out of beer boxes and, um, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and get just cleaned up and start sewing. And I might try to take some shots of me sewing. Um, I've had people ask about me doing tutorials, but because the bag patterns that I do aren't my patterns, I don't feel comfortable doing that. That's why I always refer to the links that I learned how to sew from because, um, you know, I didn't write the pattern. I am trying to work on designing my own bag pattern, so then I can make a tutorial, but that's one thing I'm going to work on this Christmas season when I'm not sewing for the shop. Um, I know I said that this was my last update this year. Um, this Christmas one but if I get a chance I might put up some more random bags just randomly from where I'm practicing because I'm going to be practicing different te different techniques and stuff so uh, after this updates over if all the bags are gone you can maybe keep an eye on the shop and something may pop up randomly on there just uh, from where I'm practicing and uh, if it's a good job that I practice that and didn't mess it up I will just throw it up in the shop and whoever gets it gets it but yeah so I'm gonna go do this because I've been talking for 13 minutes and I need to quit <laughs>